Hello, West Road and Knox on fourth grade. Orchestra students, Miss Regan here. So I know we didn't get to spend a lot of time together on Ode to Joy. So I want to do this uh, little video for you to talk about how we should be breaking it down. So the first thing is, as you've remembered from school, I hope, we need to start with the hard sections first because the easier sections will come together and they won't need as much practice as the more difficult sections. So in Ode to Joy, which is page 23, number 86, um, <clears throat> the most difficult part starts at measure nine and goes through measure 12. So let's look at our book right now and let's count to measure nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The measure should start with a half note E and then have a quarter note F sharp and a quarter note D. That is the measure that we're going to be starting on. And then if you count through that, just so you can see how far it is to 12, we have that measure, measure nine, measure 10, measure 11, and measure 12. So that is the section we're going to work on now. So as you know, we've been working on breaking down learning um, a piece by first writing in the counting. So I would like you right now, if you haven't written your one, two, three, four, or one and two and um, underneath nine through 12 to pause the video and to write in the counting. Okay, so now that you've written in the counting or if you already had, now we're going to clap and count that section together. So let's go ahead and let's clap and count it. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, what I'd like you to do right now is to pause the video again and do that a couple times by yourself to make sure you've got it. Okay, so now that we've got our counting down, we're going to start working on the letter names. Now, because this is a difficult spot, we're actually not gonna do all four measures at once. We're just going to do two measures at a time. So let's go through and let's say the notes in the speed of the counting of nine and 10. So here we go. Ready, go, E, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, D. Very good. Again, pause the video and do that a couple times yourself so that you're feeling confident. And let's do it one more time together. E, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, D. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to pluck. Now, you might be wondering why I chose to do it on cello. The reason I chose to do it on cello is because in orchestra, the lower instruments are much easier to hear. So since all of you will be playing along, cello is a good choice. Okay, so let's get our E's ready and let's go ahead and let's pluck it together. I'll say the letters with you as we do it this time. Ready, go, E, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, D. Okay, so go ahead, pause the video, and practice it several times till you feel confident. All right, now that you're back, let's go ahead and let's pluck it together again without me saying the letter names. Ready, go. All right, so now that we've got that down, we're going to go ahead and we're going to bow that section. So go ahead and get your bows ready. And if you recall, <clears throat> When we play half notes, we need to either move our bow slower or use more bow. So I'm going to suggest that we move our bow slower, but also use more bow than we would normally. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's try bowing this together. Ready, go, one, two, three, four. it on your own several times till you feel more confident. 
and welcome back and so here we go doing it one last time correctly together ready go <laughs> have measures 9 and 10 better we're going to work on measures 11 and 12 so let's just review the counting for a moment of measure 11 and 12 so let's clap and count together ready go one two and three four one two three four okay so go ahead and clap and count that yourself again if you need to you can pause it all right, and here we are back again. So now we're going to say the letter names in the speed of the counting. So let's go ahead and let's do that together. Ready, go. E, F sharp, G, F sharp, D. Oops, Miss Regan made a mistake and I'm not gonna record all this over again. So we're gonna do it again for Miss Regan. Here we go. Ready, go. E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E. D, E, A. And just as a reminder, violin players, is that open A or fourth finger pinky A? And as we know, it is pinky A. All right, so you can go ahead and pause and do that a couple more times if you need a little bit more work on those letter names. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's try plucking it now together. So first time here, I'm going to say the letters with you. Here we go, ready, go. E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, E, A. All right, so go ahead and pause and you can practice that. And now let's go ahead and let's do it again. Now that you're back, hopefully you practice it many times. And I'm not going to say the letters with you this time. Here we go. Ready, go. So again, practice it more if you need to get better at it before we go ahead and bow it. But now we are ready for the bow step. So let's go ahead and get our bows ready. And here we go. Ready, go. Okay, so go ahead and practice that several times on your own. You can put me on pause. And let's go ahead and let's do it one more time together now that you're hopefully feeling better about it. Okay, so now we've done nine and 10, we've done 11 and 12. So it is time to put them together. Now, I would suggest going back and plucking all four measures together first. So let's go ahead and let's do that. One, two, measure nine. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three. Do it again with the letter names this time. Ready, go. One, oops. Ready, go. E, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, E, A. You know, I just remembered something. Uh, violin players, in measure 12, if you're having a hard time doing the E to the pinky, I would suggest just doing E to pinky several times. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say that before, but um, what you would wanna do is you would practice putting your E finger down and then walking up as quickly as you can to the pinky. So basically pluck your E, so pluck E, and then walk up fast and pluck the pinky. Okay, so now that we've plucked this section a couple times. Um, you can go ahead and put me on pause and practice it on your own, all four measures, nine through 12, plucking. Okay, we're gonna review it one more time together. 
One, two, ready. Hooray! Okay, so let's go ahead and let's give it a try. One, two, ready. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three. with the letter names. Ready, go. E, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, E, A. All right. So at this point, pause me and go practice it as many times as you need to. Okay, now that you're back, let's go ahead and let's play it one last time together. Ready, go. <laughs> video now you are able to play Ode to Joy 9 through 12. Now if you couldn't get it in one sitting with me that is perfectly okay because guess what you can do this video with me every day. All right so good luck with Ode to Joy measures 9 through 12 and I will also post another video of the other measures so that you can practice the entire song with me. All right thanks and see you later.